Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm good. And you? Great. Welcome back. Thank you so much. Are you ready to choose a number? I want to choose eight. Eight. All right. Yeah. Okay. So the theme today is money. So all of my questions are about money, okay? Okay. All right. So you chose number eight. And the question is, do you ever give money to poor people on the street? Yes, uh, sometimes. Okay. Uh, you know, uh, I am a Muslim. Uh, we are uh, in Turkey uh, all Friday going to mosque for pray God uh, together uh, people. When we, when we finish the uh, pray and then uh, come back to the street, some people uh, like a beggar. Uh-huh. Uh, I give uh, all Friday. If I have a money, uh, I give all Friday uh, on beggar. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. All right. And uh, do you give? Uh, is it something you do frequently or just sometimes? It, I want to give uh, all times, but you know, sometimes uh, we don't have money. Uh -huh. uh, we don't have enough money. If I have enough money, uh, I give. Uh -huh. But if I don't have money, if I thinking uh, some money need me, uh -huh. I need some money, I don't give. Okay. All right. Can, yes. Can you ask me the same question? What about you? Do, uh, do you want to, some people, you know, some people living in the street, uh, I am uh, when watching uh, English movies and old country movies. Some people uh, is living in uh, street. Some people don't have money. Some people don't have eat bread. Uh -huh. Even uh, don't have eat bread. Uh, even don't have eat uh, some food. So poor man. Okay. What do you think about these uh, people? How can we make uh, good things for uh, they, they li they, their life be good? Well, um, I ask you to ask me the same question that I asked you. Do you remember the question at the beginning? No, no, you asked me. No, I want you to ask me the same question that I asked you. Okay, do you want to I ask from scratch question? No. <laughs> so, do what was the question that I asked you at the beginning? You asked me uh, do, do you give uh, people money? Right, poor people in the street. Yes. Right, so you asked me that same question. Uh, actually, not the same. Mm, okay. <laughs> Can I change my question? Uh, not this time. <laughs> well, maybe if it's similar. If it's similar. Yes. Okay. You can answer my question if, if you want. Okay. So, ask me. <laughs> I'm, trying <laughs> I'm trying to get you to ask me the same question that I asked you. Ah, do you do you give uh, some money uh, for people for poor people in the street? Right? Do I give money to poor people in the street? Um, yeah. Usually, no. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll and uh, some people they'll be like, "Why? Why don't you help out?" Well, the reason is that when I help, I don't like to give money. I like to give food, I like to give clothing, I like to give books, I like to give things. Because I don't trust people with cash. <laughs> uh -huh. But some people, uh, I see, I saw some people don't have arm, don't have leg, don't have finger. Mm -hmm. I give money, I give money like, like that people. Not, uh, 
all all uh, all body all body uh, full if if some people lost leg finger i don't know some people have illness i want to give money like people mhm mm sure and Not it sometimes it depends right on the situation but for me in general i i don't like to give cash uh because mm -hmm. there are too many people that use that money to buy drugs they buy alcohol yeah, yeah, yeah. and they do things which are not good i remember in in chicago where i used to live uh mm. people would ask for money you know hey buddy can you give me a dollar hey buddy and i i would say i i'm not going to give you any money but if you're hungry we can go and i'll go buy you a meal from a restaurant and sometimes mm. the people would say okay and they would come and i would chat with them and i would buy them a meal other times they would say uh no i'm busy working here and i was like <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so i i i think for me it's difficult to give people money because i don't know what they're going to do with it right yeah oh okay. you are right. you you don't want to people uh people buy with your money uh drugs medicine yeah. right Okay I saw I saw some people drugs oh man can you give me money but I never give money like you I never give money like uh, these people because I know you are right some people give money don't work and give money they go to buy uh, drugs Yes yes you are right uh, this subject <laughs> Okay. All right. Well, I need to move forward. Thank you for coming live and thank you for talking with me. It's my pleasure. Thank you so much for accept me. Okay. Have a wonderful day. Thank you. Take care. All right. Bye-bye. Hey. Hello. How are hey, you? Hey, Michael. Thank you. Your name is Michael? Yes, Michael. And you've come live before, right? Yeah. Yeah, this is my second time. It's not ah, first time. Wonderful. Welcome back. Thank you, Michael. How's it okay. going? Great. I feel hmm, I feel fantastic. How about you? Awesome. I'm great too, but uh you know, today I lost some money. <laughs> <laughs> Honest to God. Honest to God. Yeah. I lost some money and this is crazy. Is it <laughs> is there any association <laughs> to your <laughs> to your life I don't know the topic by chance I guess so can you choose a number number 4 number 4 four yeah all right okay so let's see all right so your question is if you suddenly have a lot of money but you have to give it away who would you give it to if i had a lot of money i would Absolutely. give it to suddenly suddenly yeah i would give it to charity <laughs> okay and what kind of charity because there are many kinds um uh, this type of charity that help people help the poor people to to tackle their poverty and this I mean my purpose is just for uh, helping people to oh. to financial right. who who uh, who uh these type of people who uh, have financial trouble that's it. okay yeah okay and someone in the comments said ask again they couldn't hear so I'm just going to repeat the question okay uh okay. if you suddenly had a lot of money but you have to give it away you can't keep it who would you give it to mhm mm and so you said to charity uh to help people uh with their financial situation does that sound right yeah it's yeah. the best idea i think okay and do you have any other specific ideas or just in general give to charity oh just just give it to charity i think <laughs> okay All right, can you ask me the same question? 
uh, if you what was the answer? Uh, if you had uh, suddenly much money, what would you give to give it to? Sure, and I'll just repeat: if you suddenly had a lot of money, but you have to mm -hmm. give it away, who would you give right. it to? Uh huh. Um, I like. I've read about a program. It's called Doctors Without Borders. So what happens is uh, a doctor will go to a place, usually from a, like a rich country, the doctors, like dentists, uh, surgeons, they'll go to very, very poor places in the world, right? And mm -hmm. they donate their time and their effort, and they help people for free. <laughs> so I would donate my money to a, a charity like that. So they, they're experts in what they do. And they go to an area that can need needs help, and they donate their time and energy and resources. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah. And I have a question for you. Uh, you have uh, eight questions, right? I do. Uh, do you do you answer to your questions in advance, or just right now you think? Do I prepare my questions in advance? Yeah. No. Uh, your answer, for example, if if me. Uh, ask your your own question, for example. Uh, I just asked you. Uh, do no, you, do I you don't, answer? Really? Uh -huh. I don't prepare the answer, but I prepare the question. So I don't prepare mm -hmm. the answer because it's whatever I'm feeling at the moment. <laughs> nice. Great. Right. Thank okay. You. All right. Well, thank you for coming live and thank you for chatting with me. Thank you, Michael, and you have a great memory. You remember me? <laughs> yes, I remember faces. I, I'll be honest, I don't remember your name. What was your name again? Shahab, yes, yeah, Shahab. Shahab. Oh, just like your uh, Instagram name. Yeah, yeah, this is the second part is my name. Uh -huh. Okay, well, you're welcome to come back in the future. Have a wonderful day. Thank you. I will join another time and take care. Bye. All right, bye-bye. Bye. Everyone who's joining. Ah. Hello, how are you? Hello, thank you. How about you? Great. Well, I'm wonderful. Can I get your name and where you're from? Okay, my name is Ayhan. Uh, I am from Qatar. Qatar. Ah, okay. And you speak Arabic, I assume? Is no. Right? No, Qatari? No, just... no, no, Qatari. I am originally from Turkey. Oh, <laughs> merhaba. <laughs> merhaba. <laughs> okay. So yes. I need you to choose a number. Okay, I choose seven. Seven. All right. Yes. Okay. And do, what what is the theme for today? Do you remember? No, uh, I don't remember because it's my fault. Huh? Oh, it's oh okay. I'm sorry. The, the, the theme. Topic? The topic is money. Money. <laughs> Okay. So I'm going to ask you a question about related to money, okay? Okay. Right. So you pick number seven. So your question is, when you were a child, did your parents give you money or did you have to earn it? Mm. And please, can you repeat again? <laughs> it's oh, my fault, sure. I know. No, no need to apologize. I because, can repeat because I I bit very uh, a bit excited uh, because it's the first time the with you the live. Great, great. <laughs> okay, so here we go. When you okay. were a child, when you were a kid, did okay. your parents give you money, or did you have to earn the money? Did you have to work for it? Which one? Hmm. Which one? Uh, I think it's the first one. The, so, especially when I was a child, uh, as far as I remember, yes, uh, especially my mom, uh, my mom gave the money uh, to pay, no, not pay, <laughs> uh, to, to, to pay, use, maybe, use, yes. uh -huh. maybe, uh, maybe to expand, uh, expense to, I don't know, uh, Maybe take something in school. Sure, sure. Maybe food too, or yes, for or food and maybe in order to buy something about the school's items, like sure. That. And what about money that you wanted to use for fun? 
maybe candy or toys or things that you wanted to buy? And uh, it was maybe I preferred only uh, buy candy. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> candy and other uh, maybe uh -huh. <laughs> foods. Uh huh. And did did your parents ever make you work work to earn money? No. 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 Okay. No. <laughs> okay. Can you ask me the same question that I asked you at the beginning? Oh my gosh! It's wow. <laughs> so so thoughts <laughs> questions. Okay. I will try. Um, have you ever been to uh, take uh, any money from your parents? Or uh, did you or have you ever been work for any earning? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I'm not sure. I, I, I I understand what you're saying, and I'm going to repeat the question just so it's clear. You can say, when you were a child, did your parents give you money, or did you have to earn the money? Uh huh. So that's the mm -hmm. question. And let's see. Okay. When, when I was a kid, uh, it was kind of both. Sometimes they would give me money, but it was usually for a purpose, like uh, you know, food at school, school supplies, okay. something like that. But if I wanted money for toys or candy or for me, I had to work. <laughs> I had to, I had to uh, cut the grass. I have to clean things. I would have to uh, carry wood. I'd <laughs> so I had to work to get money. So d oh. different, yeah. And now I understand uh, about your uh, the past. Uh, history. Uh, I want to say it's as a child. Congratulations. <laughs> Not to me. <laughs> congratulations to my parents because they chose yeah. to make. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. Maybe they uh, would uh, give something. Maybe confidence to you. Oh yeah, I think so. And I'm trying to do the same thing with my daughter because. I want to, like you said, build their confidence, right? Because it's diff it, it can be difficult to work. Yeah. Yes, yes, it's tr it, uh, it should be. Yes, you are right. And uh, as a father, um, I'm also father, and I have a daughter. And uh, you are right. Uh, to if we want to a uh, confidence child, and yes, uh, we have to, we have to apply it to our children. Like, uh, like your parents. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wonderful. Well, thank you for coming live. I need to move to the next person. Okay. Okay. Nice to meet you. To and I'm so uh, glad to uh, conversation, uh, especially Same the first first time. And uh, have a nice day. Thank you. All right. You too. Bye bye. Bye bye. Hi, sir. Hello. How are you? How are you? Fine, thank you. And you? I am wonderful. <laughs> wonderful. I'm I'm so energetic too. Good. Wonderful. Okay. Well, I need you to choose a number. Number one. Number one. All right. Okay. And today the topic is money. Okay. Money. Money is right. concern. Are you ready for your question? Yeah. All right, here we go. If suddenly you had a lot of money, maybe you, you won you know, millions of dollars, right? What are the first things that you would do? Uh, if I suddenly had a lot of money, at first I uh, try to solve my uh, personal problems, financial personal problems, then help the, um, those people who want to marry and they have financial problem 
and uh, after that i uh, helped the uh, associate the the charity offices mm -hmm. uh, and uh, uh, i'm not agree with helping people in the streets uh, i don't trust them uh, some of them have the boss and they work for the boss yes uh, in our in my, in my country i saw i know some people that uh, they earn a lot of um, a little money from their boss and they beggars from the people they have only um, for example they take uh, um, they take uh, for example five dollars or ten dollars a day from their boss and they uh, earn from the people uh, hundreds uh, uh, or thousands uh, from the people public people uh, and they work for the buses they have buses uh, we uh, shouldn't be simple people we shouldn't trust the, everyone in the streets mm -hmm. uh, there are associations there are offices in their uh, in different countries that we can trust them uh, we can uh, go and see uh, their uh, permissions their uh, certificates uh, and see uh, their uh, uh um, proofs that they work uh, they help the people uh, yeah i you agree have any question? <laughs> <laughs> you agree with me yeah i think you have a very thoughtful answer i agree it's it's difficult to trust people that you don't know especially on the street and i agree there are like children that they work for a boss right and so okay it depends on the place and the country let's see yeah. uh, their bosses they, their bosses they have uh, their bosses are very rich they have uh, more expen they have the most expensive cars the most expensive houses uh, and they earn their rich uh, from these poor people uh -huh. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. so can you ask me Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, yeah. Um, so uh, I at, um, advise um, the people who want to uh, help the poor people uh, should be careful. Uh, um, uh, search uh, in the internet or see in their uh, hometown or near their houses, the offices, the associations that help the uh, charity people go there, uh, register their name, see their albums. They can see uh, to uh, see to their uh, um, the people. I don't know just the name. Uh, those houses that keep the uh, old people uh, and see them uh, really uh, and then help the uh, help them. Not sure. trust the, not just trust the old people that beggar in the, uh, the poor people that beggar in the streets. Uh, give me a dollar. Give me some money. Uh -huh. uh, I I agree with you. Uh, I, if uh, I say them, uh, I can help you another way. Are you hungry? Uh, do you need uh, clothes? Uh, I help you, but uh, uh, if they say uh, no, just money, I don't. Uh, I I say them, uh, would you work? Uh, do you want to work? I know the uh, offices that you can. Uh, I I come with you and register your name and uh, work, and uh, the um, uh, boss or the governor uh, give you money in months sal salary. Uh huh. And right, if okay. if you want to work, <laughs> if you want if if you want to work, but they they uh, don't uh, want to work. Sometimes. They 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 don't want to work. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I, I agree. I think sometimes we get such positive energy that we want to help. We want to help, right? I think it's good to have the energy, but then take a moment to think, to research, to try to figure out what is the best way okay. to help, right? Uh, because just, so, uh, go ahead. <laughs> so, so thinking is more important than the decision. Uh, at first, we should uh, think, and then uh, we should take decision uh, that I uh, help them or not. Whether whether I help them or not. At first, uh, we should think for a moment, just a moment. Mm -hmm. Thinking here is more important than action. Okay. That, All right. Mm, that maybe we give uh, we give money to people, and then we go we go uh, do their uh, our work and come back and see that uh, that people uh, mm, uh, is uh, take is buying smuggler uh, materials. I saw I saw this uh, stage that I. Uh, one day I take, I give money uh, to some someone. Uh, I went uh, uh, shopping center, but um, what I need, uh, and then came back. Uh, on the way, I saw that uh, uh, the person uh, was buying smuggler materials. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, uh, <laughs> Well, so I, I need to move forward so that more people can come live too. But I appreciate you. Thank you for okay. your time and okay. thank you for speaking with me. It, thank you. It was my first uh, time that uh, was uh, live with you. I'm so glad and I want to improve my speaking ability skill by you. I appreciate uh, you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Have a wonderful day. Thank you. Okay. Goodbye. Bye -bye. Hello. 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 How are you? I'm good. How about you? Wonderful. Thank you. What number would you like? Um, number three. Number three. Okay. Yes. And can I get your name and where you're from? Uh, I'm Ade. I'm from Indonesia. Okay. Jakarta. Ah, okay, wonderful. And you pick number three. So I'm going to ask mm -hmm. you a question. And today the topic is money, okay? Yeah. All right, so here is the question. When when should children start learning about money? What? Can you repeat the question? Sure. When should children start learning about money? I think five years old. Okay. And what should we teach them? What? Can you repeat? I can hear. Sure. What What should we teach children about money? About uh, money. Can, mm -hmm. can you repeat again, please? Sure. What should we teach children about money? The children have to know about money, I think, for buy something like food candy and many things in at school okay and then sure okay sure can you ask me the same question that i asked you at the beginning mm, when the children so no so to know about money right right when should children learn about money well mm -hmm. my opinion is mm -hmm. as soon as soon as possible if they were as soon two, as possible. Uh -huh, two years old, three years old, whenever the child is able to learn about money, great. Because it's so important. It's such an important part of life. And mm -hmm. if you ask me, I think the easiest way to teach children about money is to have them be involved in how you do things. So when I go pay for something, have my child with me, watching, mm -hmm. and being involved, and then talk. But I think if um, children to know about money very child, 
like uh, three years old, she will buy something not too useful her for her. Uh huh. And, and I, 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 go ahead. Uh, sorry. Um, it will use useless for the children if the children to know about money. Very very child like a three years or four years, like like this. You understand what I mean? I, I understand, and I don't mean that giving them money. I don't think that's a good idea because they haven't learned, right? But it's easy mm -hmm. to have conversations with children. Do you think it's a good idea to buy this one? Do you think it's a good idea to buy that one? Why should we maybe not buy it now? Should we wait? What should we do? So just to talk with children about money, because kids, whew, kids have so many ideas, right? Yes, maybe maybe the kids can be can buy the uh, some what the meaning of. Well, I'm, I'm so now nah, right now I'm forget about the vocabulary. So nah, I think my English not so fluently right now. <laughs> it's improving. We're improving. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I will. So that's why I try to live with you. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, thank you for coming live. You're welcome to yes. come back in the future. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. Salamat malam. Selamat malam. Hello. Hello. How are you? I am fine, thank you. And you? Fabulous. Can I get your name and where you're from? My name is Emre. I am from Istanbul, Turkey. Ooh, another merhaba, right? Merhaba, <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Can I get you to choose a number? Number six, please. Number six. All right. Yes. It sounds like a, a, a restaurant, right? We're ordering... <laughs> We're ordering food. Number six, please. Okay, yeah. so do you remember what is the topic for today? Money. Money. Okay, yeah. are you ready for your question? Yes. All right, here we go. Number six, I'm finding it. Here it is. All right. Let's see. How do you react or what do you say if a stranger asks you about personal financial information? If a person asks me about my f uh, personal financial condition, maybe at first, but it, it depends on the situation or persons. If uh, it is necessary, I would say kindly uh, my answer to him or her. But if it's not in a regular condition, uh, I don't know. I, I would answer another type of answer to him or her uh, so it depends on the condition I think so sure well yeah. let's let's say it's a question that is very personal and you don't feel like you want to give the answer what is what is a way that you could respond what do you think oh well, I would say uh, <laughs> on, on the <laughs> it's yeah it's very different uh, situation uh, maybe I don't know maybe I would I would say uh, almost about my uh, my salary almost but not uh, the right uh, number of my salary uh -huh. uh, I don't know. Sure. <laughs> I mean, because there are a lot of different questions, right? Someone yes. could say something like, how much do you earn? How much money do you owe? Do you have yes. loans? Do you have debt? How much money did you give your brother? How much, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Some of it is too personal. So it's sometimes it's good to have a, a good response, which is respectful. But we, mm -hmm. I mean, we could say, hey, don't ask. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it would be kind of offensive and rude. So what mm -hmm. do you think? Can you think of a response that would be respectful but still direct well, that you don't want so to share? Of course, we shouldn't be unkind. Uh, mm -hmm. We should answer kindly to that person. Uh, yes, it is different kind of topic. It, it depends on the person and situation. 
if we have a job interview, yes, we can say about our past jobs uh, salary to that person. Uh-huh. Yeah, so okay, I, so- I am generally kind person, so I would ask answer kindly. Sure, uh, sure. Yeah. Okay, so ask me the the first question I asked you. Yeah. Uh, how do you react, or what what would would you answer if a person uh, ask you about your per- personal financial situation? Yes, very good, very good. Um, Thank you. I would say, well, if if it's information that I don't want to share. I would say, well, thank you for asking, but that's private, so I'm not going to share that information. And then some people, it depends on the person. Some people are like, what? What's wrong with you? Why don't you share? Da, 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 da. You know why? Who you're trying to be too good? Uh-huh. <laughs> so then you could say, well, no, I, it's my, you know, my point of view. I don't like to share financial information with people because it's personal. Mm-hmm. It's private. And if they keep mm-hmm. pushing. Then it's good time to walk away. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, good. Right. So, it depends. Uh, exactly mm-hmm. what you said. It depends a lot on the person, the situation, mm-hmm. how well mm-hmm. you know them. I mean, if it's like the tax person from the government, they're a stranger, but you have to <laughs> yes. give the information, or you, there's problems. Right. Exactly. Yes. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you. All right. Have a wonderful nice day. Bye bye. See. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Uh-huh. Hello. Yeah, yeah. My my internet is perfect. Hello from Russia. How are you? <laughs> oh, you I'm fine. I'm, I'm I'm what? Uh huh. Our connection is kind of <laughs> not really that I'm sorry. good. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm a housewife right now, <laughs> but I'm a teacher of English in Russia. Nice okay. to meet you. I, I watch you and uh, I, I watch your Instagram and I know that you have really good posts for kids and you're very interesting for, uh, for yeah, I'm working with kids right now and with all the people here in Russia and, uh, and I can speak any language and I'm a really polyglot. <laughs> Do you know this okay. uh, word in Russian when you know all the languages of the world? Well, I'm sorry. I'm kidding. I don't know all the languages of the world. <laughs> But I want to learn Arabic. I want to learn... Um, I live in in Kabardian and uh, Bulgarian Republic. And uh, I don't understand uh, what they are saying, but I do understand some phrases. And we are speaking here in... Uh, so, here in our Republic, uh, yesterday it was our day of our town, Nalchik, uh, Nalchik, and it means um, uh, horse, what what horse wears on her, uh, what, what does it, uh, I mean, horse, so I will describe, okay, a horse, I, 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 I just forgot, her, her foot, <laughs> her feet, uh, the horse's foot, How to say it in English? Please help me. Hoof. The hoof. 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 So our the name of our town means uh, the horse's hoof. Okay. And and we live in a very beautiful, in a very very beautiful, picturesque, uh, amazing uh, republic uh, that is in. Um, in the territory of the Russian Federation and you can uh, just follow my Instagram and you can see a lot of interesting information about maybe different things I try to help other people to earn uh, to earn well you were saying money but I was listening and so I earn uh, 300 rubles for uh, my lesson uh, it's about four or five dollars Um, have, did you, have you watched the lives before today? Earlier, did you watch the lives when we were talking about well, money? Well, I, I, I don't have a lot of time, but today, today's, uh, 
life is amazing <laughs> and uh, I, i'm uh we had um service in church today we had a service in church uh we are um, uh, some people uh well i have a family <laughs> here like christians and a lot of other we um how does this um we commemorated my uh granddad's uh, um death we uh celebrated not celebrated i presented a, a gift to, to my uh friend with uh, different books about uh cinderella a man and a hair for example then uh, what else <laughs> Uh, then uh so, so she's an an accountant bookkeeper and uh, she knows a lot about uh numbers digitals and other other things and laws and uh uh she's so good she can drive a car i i actually used to uh drive a car i learned how to drive a car but i when i passed my exams um, in uh, uh, my in my school in perigorsk uh well i uh was successful at theory but i failed my practice and i mm, i couldn't uh i couldn't uh drive i couldn't drive because i was very uh, i i was very scared at that moment i couldn't drive i was driving like this. oh my god oh my god oh, i was so nervous and tense oh and i was driving our car uh it's uh, this car uh, is called jiguli and when i was driving i was oh hi and i was driving in piadigors those railways and uh, uh, other trolley buses and <laughs> and then was, the roads were like uh, up and down hills and so and i was driving and i was so nervous and then my uh, the person who loved me very much he tried to uh, teach me how to drive a car um a different car uh with mechanic uh gear i don't know how to call it mechanic uh mm-hmm. mechanic so you have two uh, pedals right or oh, three pe- uh stop um and uh, speed I, i i don't know the terms what may, what? may i may i speak i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm very very sorry <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited today. I'm so excited. You know, um today uh, just just one one thing, one interesting thing about me. <laughs> I'm sorry. You're a very nice person. I'm sorry. I just wanted okay. to to mm-hmm. Sure. I I understand you have a lot of positive energy. I think that's fabulous. It's uh the thing is that when uh I have my live for today, I have a format right where i ask a question and then we have a mini conversation but it seems like you've already had a long conversation <laughs> so i'm just looking at the time here so i'm going to ask you a question okay all right i'm listening uh, okay cuz the connection is kind of acting a little bit funny but let's see uh let's see if it will get better hmm All right. We're connecting. Hello? Hello. Oh, hello, Michael. How are you? Well, great, thank you. Great. Can I get your name and where you're from? Uh, I'm Hadi. I'm from uh, Turkey. Ah, another from Turkey. So, merhaba. Okay. Merhaba. Can I get you to choose a number? We have two left. Two or five? Okay. Two of okay five. Five okay. Five, right? All right. And do you remember what is the topic for today? No, I've just I've just joined you. Oh okay. Well, welcome. No worries. Today we're talking about money. Okay. So I'm going to ask you, I'm going to ask you a question about money, and then just you know give me your opinion. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's see. You chose number five. So the question is. What do you think about lending your money to other people? Well, if the people are worthy enough to lend them money, it would be a great idea. 
But if they are not stressful, um, it would be a disaster because the, the money will be away. So we have to take in, um, a step first to think that uh, if they are worthy or not, and um, do they give us the money and pack? That's, that's to do with the first. Then they give them the money, of course, if they, do, if they need it. Uh-huh. And does it, does it depend, or would your opinion change depending on the amount of money? Yes, that's it would be okay. changed. Yeah. So let's pretend it's a, a small, just a small amount of money. If I have a small amount of money, you mean? No, I mean if someone asks you, maybe you don't really trust them a lot, no. but they, they ask you for a small amount of money. Uh, actually, I'm very shy, so uh, I would lend them or her, I don't know, <laughs> or them, uh, if it's so, a small amount of money. But if it is, no, no, I can't. I, I have to, to take a step away, to take a step back. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh, your, your voice is kind of quiet. Can you move maybe your mouth closer to the phone or to the okay. microphone? I'm not sure. Okay. okay. And how mm -hmm. about if it's someone that you don't trust and they ask for a lot of money? What would you say? Uh, I would pretend not to have money. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't have what money. What money? I'm actually... <laughs> If you have money, please give it to me. <laughs> <laughs> That's not yeah, bad. It's a, it's a white, it's a white lie. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Yeah. And uh, what do you think about lending money to family members? Uh, I don't think it's lending because we are sharing the money, so it's not lending money. And okay. They will ask for it uh, because it is their money. Because it's okay. my money, so it's then money. Yeah, because the family is one mem member. Okay. All right. Yeah. What What if one of the family members is a little bit crazy? <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> it would be a disaster. <laughs> but uh, if he asks me for money, let's say brother of me, and he's uh, crazy, uh, I would advise him not to not to use them or spend them in a crazy way. And uh, yeah, but if uh, I think he's in need of that money, I would give him. I'm, I'm just trying to make things more complicated. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so can you ask me the first question that I asked you? Do you remember? Yeah. What do you think about lending money to, uh, to people? To people, uh huh. Um, I think it's a difficult question to answer without getting more details. <laughs> yeah. Um, I on think. People. What's that? Will it depend on people? It or depends. You will lend for any people. I mean, there's no difference between worth and not worth the people. Oh, I think there's a difference because I work very hard for my money, so it's. Uh, yeah. I, I think I, I need more inf information before I'm willing to lend yeah. it to people. Um, yeah. I have had in the past where people have yeah. asked for money and they're like, oh, hey, can I borrow some money? And I'm very sure that they're not going to pay me back. So yeah. I found that if I want to help them, I will usually just say, here, here's the money. Don't worry about paying it back. It's yours. Just keep yeah. it, right? And it depends. It depends on the amount. Very... Yeah, yeah. If the story of them was very painful and they really want the money because it's a life or death, yeah, it would be like uh, lending them the money without, uh, in return, uh -huh. without uh, and, waiting for them to to give me the money in return. Yeah. Sure. And I was also going to say, if it's someone who wants money and it's not an emergency, but it's someone yeah. that I don't I don't trust. I find it, hmm. if, if I'm willing, I find it easier to just say, take the money, <laughs> because then I don't mm -hmm. have stress in the future, and we don't have to keep thinking, oh, you owe me money, you owe me money. <laughs> yeah, yes. Um, that would be, of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. Well, I need to go because my Instagram is counting down. I have 10 seconds and it's going to shut down. Okay. You. So, you thank too, you for coming live. Very, very nice to meet you. Well, pleasure, pleasure. It's my pleasure.